Oh, is it dry? Big Judy, Green Pastures Farm, fighting a good old Missouri drought here in the July. It's kind of hard to tell we're in a drought by the look of the cows, though. They all look good. I need to get out of the way so don't get run over. They're having to go a half a mile back to water is nothing for a cow. They've got four legs, we've got two. It's amazing how fast cows can cover ground. I just left up there. I barely had time to get the gate open and they're right here. Of course, they know they're going to New Pasture this morning. And so when they walk over a half a mile to water, um, it's always a herd movement. The whole herd goes. Or if you have your water closer, it's more like four or five here, four or five there. It's just not a big group of them going to water all at once. But it's uh, 7 o'clock, 7.30. Um, I think my phone said it's already 90. Yesterday it hit 110. Actually, they said 113 heat index, whatever that is. All I know is it was hot <laughs> and i know you folks in arizona are laughing at us you know you all out there you all, you all, you folks have a dry hot we got a, a humid hot and you can almost cut the air this morning with a knife and unless you live down south in alabama louisiana florida you all know what i'm talking about that humid that humid hot Let's go over here and see what they're eating. But the creek is absolutely bone dry. There's no water at all in the creek. We're gonna go see what they're eating. It still surprises me though, you know, the forage is about 70% uh, brown. Yeah, maybe 50% right now. I still don't think it's as bad as 2012 yet. Of course, we're still in July too. We've got all of August looking at us. Yeah, it's pretty dry. <laughs> the only green would be the stick tight. They're all balling. Balling for their babies. It's not because they're hungry, I can tell you that. You see, these cows are filled out. Look at that. There's not a single cow that has a death triangle showing. It should be right there in front of that hip bone, big sunken in spot like a cereal bowl. I mean, she's just fat. Calves are all nice and filled out, shiny and slick. Um, you know, I saw the same thing in 2012. We had really good animal performance on very limited uh, grazing. Oh, there's a pretty heifer. Got a little streak of white on it. I don't know where that came from. Well, she is a beaut, though. My goodness. She's gonna make a beautiful cow. Just fat and sleek, getting bred. Look at that one. She's got the oil on her side. All these calves got oil on the side of them. Slick, oily, high to the minimum. There's our newest calf this morning. I think we've got about four left. Little booger made the cattle drive just fine. Cattle aren't stupid. They all went over to the shady part of the bottom. <laughs> That's where they're grazing. Yep. 
We've got a pond up here on top of this hill, but it's dried up enough that, I mean, there's a little water left in the bottom of it, but if you put cows in there, um, you better get your rope out. Cause you're gonna get something stuck. Something's gonna get stuck. And uh, this pond up here leaked from the time just never did seal up right. I think it's got sand and rock in the bottom of it. So it just leaks all the time, unfortunately. And the level on it went so low now that you can't, you can't drink out of it safely. We got a big old grass carp up there in it. Isaac saw it yesterday swimming around. It's just barely got enough water to keep him going. So we're probably gonna catch him and put him in another pond. Make sure we don't lose him. This cow here's in heat. She's got a, a bull boyfriend chasing her. And where she goes, there's a bull right there next to him. There's one in heat. And the bulls, I don't know how they stay in that kind of condition breeding cows, but they do. They're just absolutely studs, that's all you can say. They breed cows, eat a little bite, get a little bite to eat, and they breed another cow. Well, there's another nice bull. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty nice here in the shade. I, I, now I know why the cows are here. It's, it feels darn good right here. And they're eating a lot of that stick tight, what we call beggar's lice. They're going after it. It's green. Then they reach down and they get them a little bite of grass to go with it. And they're popping off a little bit of iron weed here and there. Pretty good diversity down here. Boys are still moving them three times a day. And doing that, we're getting a ton. We're getting a ton of uh, good energy in them. And we're leaving a really nice residual behind them as well. Put them in very tight. Of course, as hot as it is, um, they may not get enough energy. And you're gonna remove more of this. folks. We're, we're grazing like we have another rotation behind us. So, we're stretching it out now where it's gonna be around 80 to 90 days before we come back. And uh, we don't get a rain in 80 to 90 days. We're still gonna have something here to graze. So, as long as you don't take it all. Yeah. Anyway, the boys are waiting on me. We're gonna put in some more paddocks and uh, it's a beautiful morning here. Green Pastures Farm, and uh, hoping we get some rain one of these days. Y'all have a good one, and uh, if y'all need some really good South Pole cattle, they're on the website. There's a whole herd dispersal that's being taken place in Kentucky. Go to greenpasturesfarm.net. You can look at them. They're, they're all out of our herd. Just a really nice set of cattle. Cow-calf pairs. I think there's 10 cow-calf pairs and four really nice heifers and a good grass genetic three-year-old bull in there. I might add easy calving. His calves are in that 55 to 65 pound range because the producer's been weighing them. And uh, he's never ever pulled a calf, even out of a heifer or nothing. So I don't know where you're gonna find a better herd to start and uh, get, get to this point right here. It took us a long time and uh, it's, it's a lot of calling, it's a lot of work. There's a lot of animals that don't work. You have to get rid of those and just move forward. That's what you do. Folks, have a good one and hit that subscribe button and all that. We'll see you next time.